transcripts. Um, so yeah, this meeting is serving as the closeout for your 2020 grant and then the startup meeting for your 2021 grant. Um, so I think we're in good shape for the 2020 grant. Um, you're, you're fully uh, expended your funds and uh, we have all the quarterly reports and um, we've closed it out on, on our end and everything. So thank you. Happy thank you for that. <laughs> for that. I appreciate that yeah, compliment yeah. that I have all my reports here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then so for the 2021 grant, um, we received, yeah, we received your contract. Thank you for dropping that off. Thank um, you. And uh, and so, yeah, that has a start date of June 1st. Um, so, uh, you know, you can you can submit invoices backdated, you know, to that June 1st start date if you if you have. We'll uh, do. Yeah. 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 And um, so we'll ask for a um, it's kind of weird. A June, June 1st, uh, the first quarter will be June 1st through June 30th. And so we'll ask for a quarterly report on July uh, 10th, even though, you know, and you can even say like, it can be a paragraph long, you know, just or, or if you haven't really started up the program at that point. Um, so whatever, uh, you know, we're not expecting. Actually, I do have a report because I do collect the data. Yeah. So no fear, I have the data. How many people we have seen from June 1st okay. to June 30th? No fear, I got that for you. <laughs> okay. All right. And know how good. to keep you happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. The and so you have a um. You're still using like a standard intake form mm -hmm. for for uh for folks. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll. I'll, I'm also going to be sending shortly the uh, uh updated income limits from HUD. Uh, they just sent those. Um. So you can uh, adjust the income limits accordingly. Okay. So um, yeah, otherwise, um, any uh, obviously you submitted the this application for the 2021 grant like almost a year ago. So I'm just wondering if anything um, major has changed. You know, staffing, volunteers, uh, mm -hmm. your location. Um, oh. Yeah, you're you're still on uh north pleasant street we are still downtown seven doors yeah. down from brugers so if yep. you can't find us but you know where brugers is you will find us seven yeah. doors down yeah from. exactly so that's easy and uh, i just need to because it has been several months ago since i filed my last um billing can you please remind me what do i need to submit within it for an invoice yeah, for invoice, that's right. Yeah, so um, we like to see, you know, any documentation for each expense. So um, you should I submit. I submit just one thing. It's the uh, payroll. That's the only thing I submit. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think yours, your grant's simple because it's just paying for payroll, so. Yes, right. Um, I did that yeah. on purpose, though. It makes it easier. <laughs> yeah, so you'll just have a, a one cover sheet that shows, you know, the... Um, you know, total expenses uh, and, and the, the amount for the, um, you know, it's helpful to actually show like the total amount you're receiving in block grant money and then the, uh, the amount expended for that quarter mm -hmm. or for that period, for that billing period, sure. and, the, and then show documentation like the timesheets. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, you know, timesheet, I remember that now. Time yeah, sheet. yeah, it. yeah, exactly. So for that, uh, mm -hmm. for that period. Um, and yeah, that that's about it. Um, and I think you also want pictures. I remember when I submit a quarterly report. Yeah, there yep. are always two pictures required to go along with the report. Yeah, yeah. So that'll okay. be part of the quarterly report. Yeah. Got it. Pictures too. I took yeah. five of them today. Okay. <laughs> nice. Good. Just knowing what you want. <laughs> and then um, yeah. you'll also for each time you submit a quarterly report, fill out that beneficiaries form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and you'll be sending that an, uh, another one, or I, will, I should use yeah. the old one. Okay, you'll be sending a new one. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and yeah. just a reminder: so that the that is uh, reported. Um, those numbers are should be cumulative. Yes. So it's it's like the total number of beneficiaries served um, from the contract date start date until that time. So 
Yeah. Um, it, it's not just the people served during those three months. It's, it's that's like, easier know. for us actually because when yeah. we uh, when we collect the data, it's set up such that a cumulative one would be much easier. Right. So I'm happy that you receive you like the cumulative right. one. Right. Yeah. So exactly. Beneficiary form. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's about it in terms of uh, reporting and. Um, mm -hmm. um, Do you happen to remember the total amount of funding we're getting? Thirty-seven thousand two hundred fifty or thirty-two thousand? I, <laughs> I, I have it. I have it here. I think it's thirty-two yeah. thirty-two eight fifty. Eight fifty. Got it. Because you just mentioned to me that you would like to have that. How much spent and how much remaining? And I want yeah. you to know what's my yeah. starting point right. here. Okay. Got it. Yeah, believe it or not, in the past two years, between before the pandemic in 2019 to now, uh, the pandemic started in 2020. So for two plus years, our number has grown. It was about 330 people on, in March, 2020. Yeah. We transfer everything to the online environment and I did the transfer of the case files. Was wow. 330 people. And today I was looking at the number of people we are serving. We are up to 590. Wow. Not quite double yet. Yeah. But just in the past two plus years, the needs in the community has increased such that we have to turn people away, especially those who are from further out. You know, right. people heard about us. They want to talk to us, Springfield, Holyoke. We had to refer them to the agencies out there right. so that we won't get overwhelmed. So that's uh, our strategy. Since you asked me how yeah. what the differences are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's, that's an element of practice we never had to do. Mm -hmm. And last semester, we had 13 interns going full steam wow. so just to serve the needs of these 500 plus people yeah you know and we are very proactive we don't wait for them to contact us when they have trouble rather we put a caseworker on the ground he or she contacts them once a month so we do a sweep through really through downtown amherst yeah. or yeah. yeah, through we just sweep through all those five hundred of them on our caseload. So maybe out of the five hundred fifty, a hundred of them, they come to see us every week. Right. But the other four hundred plus, they might not have questions for us, but we reach out to them by telephone, by text message, by email, do a monthly check in. Okay. And catch the problems before they become right. a full blown problem. Yeah. So as a result, yeah. we were able to prevent homelessness by getting the funds for them before mm -hmm. they get the 30-day notice to quit or eviction notice. Right. So I really feel very good about having the capacity to do this homelessness prevention work right. before they need, you know, the help. Yeah, so that's one thing we have able to come up with the resources to cover that. Yeah. And as we reach out to people, we know not everybody has telephone and not everybody, for example, those who don't have a phone service, they can still receive text messages mm -hmm. in their phone. So I ask our caseworkers to reach out to everybody in three ways and they have to do it three ways. Call them. If they have a phone service and they don't have phone service, we text that number okay. and if they have an email address, we email them. So for every person, if we can get hold of them, we will do it three ways right. and hoping that one of the three ways we can get hold of them in order okay. to troubleshoot. So that's another way of trying to capture people where they are at. Mm -hmm. And I found it's very effective. Yeah, it's like a proactive method, yeah. you know. Which is, you got yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. A very yeah. proactive measure to do. 
Yeah. And the only thing, if I could have the town think of ways that they could bridge the gap, I know it's hard to think about, well, people need a place to shower, people need a place to go to the restroom. I think um, when the library is closed, you know, a shower, especially the survival center, they used to have a capacity to have people shower there, mm-hmm. but they have made that off limit. So that personal hygiene part, people are living on the street right. is challenging for them. Yeah. So if you can reflect the needs on the street, we heard is a place to shower and a place that they can use the restroom mm-hmm. without having to go into the library or go to the town hall. Yeah. And restaurants, they have put a stop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's helpful to know. I know we yeah. have, uh, there's some talk about public restrooms downtown. Yeah. Um, and we are trying to make this a tourist destination. And I love to go to Provincetown. That's my favorite spot. And Provincetown has restrooms, mm-hmm. public restrooms, yeah. and they put it on their tourist map. Yeah. So people feel very, you know, welcome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, good. Um, I guess just quickly, because I do have to run shortly. Oh, but, sure, um, sure. But the, uh, for the, just fast forwarding a little bit for the next grant round, um, mm-hmm. we did receive some uh, information from the state that they're mm-hmm. going to have the 2022 grant uh, due in March of this year. Oh, um, and okay. it's actually and it's actually going to be combined with the twenty twenty three grant, so it'll be a, okay. a, a two year a two year grant um, with okay. a, with like a twenty four month implementation period. Okay. Um, and so yeah, well, that's due to the state in March, mm-hmm. but as you know, we kind of like to have this uh, almost six month like public process. Yes. So we'll probably have applications due sometime in the fall, like September okay. or maybe in, even okay. Octo- October. Okay. Um, Got it. And uh, yeah, so I think um, you can, you know, just look look for uh, information maybe towards the end of the summer about the coming. Oh yeah. Grant. Can yeah. I ask you if it's a two year grant? Does that mean you're going to have ten agencies able to get the funds? Or still five. I think it's still five. Yeah, oh. unfortunately, we're we're going to advocate for being able to serve more agencies, yeah. uh, and because it's a lot of money to give out, and it would be nice to be able to um, spread it yes. more because because we'll get twice as much money because yes. it's a two year grant. So yes. yeah, that'll be we're gonna going to advocate for that. Um, would you would you please put in a plug because I always feel bad for those who don't get money because we used yeah. to be on that just we used to be the one don't get money and I was always disappointed yeah. so now I'm on the seats I get money but I, I remember how hard it was for us not to get funding mm-hmm. and I really like to support all my colleagues yeah they all, all work hard serve a very special niche and yeah. I want to honor their work by providing yeah. some public dollars absolutely yeah yeah so if you can Put that in your grant say a agency acc who received grant funding but they would like to ask other agencies can also be made of it would be possible to receive the right, grant right. so instead of five agencies acc would like to see 10 agencies yeah would you okay i, I can do that yeah <laughs> would you okay yeah. then great okay Thank you so much, though, and I apologize for 15 minutes late. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Ben. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.